Oh my gosh, guys, welcome in. Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. I am so excited. This has actually been here for a couple of weeks and I haven't had time to fool with it. And I always wait to open them so I can open them with you. Look, it's still in the stinking plastic. This is crochet exclamation point. I don't know if you're supposed to say it that way or just say crochet. Yeah, something like that. I don't know, but I'm going to get right into it because... I have been itching to look at this magazine. Yes, I subscribed to this one too because I thought it looked interesting when I saw other people doing flip throughs and I was like, you know what? It's time, it's time. So take off the plastic because we have adverts. Before we, let's, let's look through and see if there's anything interesting. Woman Within, that's clothing for us larger chicks. The walkthrough tub, yeah, um, some Yeah, this is for to make you cry about about your pet that you've lost because yeah, I would. Uh, Christmas baubles and stuff of Bradford Exchange they advertise and everything, and more Bradford Exchange, but this time Disney. Okay, those are the adverts that are up there. I imagine there'll be more cards within it because that's how magazines are. All right, this crochet exclamation point is autumn 2022 autumn wow but <laughs> i know it's still so hot outside i can't even think about making some of this stuff but um it says display until september 26th of 2022 these are 7.99 in the u.s 8.99 in canada um yeah it's, it's less expensive if you subscribe but yeah that's how much it is as far as on the shelf on the cover a very cool and colorful or probably very warm and colorful sweater or jumper as y'all say over the pond um, fall for stripes the new looks for the new season fabulous and flattering warm neutrals and soft shapes for everyone we'll see how inclusive they are with that eight patterns with texture puffs clusters bubbles and more texture in other words eats up that yarn okay and try a new slip stitch technique how many different ways are there to slip stitch? Okay, maybe I'll learn something. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, and 19 essential autumn styles right up there at the top. So we will see. By the way, I have to say, I love her hair. Oh, gorgeous, okay. Advert, and just like in the last magazine, an advert for curtains. I mean, they're, they're from $7.99 when you buy two or more, but I just, I don't understand. I don't understand how that relates. Oh, Table of Contents is starting off with a bang. I love the texture of that. Absolutely. That texture of that sweater, that just screams 80s to me with the shaker sweaters. Okay, it just does. And I'm all about that. I am. Also, they got some pumpkins there. There's... Looks like a bag there. They really are into the fall with this one. So if you want some fall vibes, this is where you go. And a really pretty blanket. Okay, this one looks like it has a little of everything in it. It's got house stuff. It's got wearables. An advert. Oh, that gothic rose afghan. Oh my gosh. I have to keep showing that. It's not technically part of the magazine. It's an Annie's class. But it's so stinking beautiful. Okay, they start things off with with a beginner. This is a number one, a stinking beginner. And I'll have to show you the bottom of there. Pumpkins! Y'all, we all like to make pumpkins, don't we? I love pumpkin season. Yes, they, they make me happy. And for all of that, that is the entire pattern on that one page. So, yes. Made from rectangles and single crochet stitches, these pumpkins can be displayed anywhere and fit into any decor style. Okay, I've already got in my head how they make it now. Love it. I'm going to look through it and see if it'll help me learn my pattern reading a little bit better. Basket embellisher. So it's this bit here. They put around a basket. Okay. It's a macrame inspired project, it says. Perk up any ho-hum basket. Ho-hum. You know, I haven't really heard that used since Happy Days. No, that was humdrum. That was humdrum. Don't mind me. Okay. 70s vibe. All right. Easy hooded pocket scarf. That looks very cozy and warm. Unfortunately, it's been in the 90s here, and I can't deal with cozy and warm right now, but that is really cute. 
And on that one, they're using, um, let's pull the picture back up there for you. It's a number three easy, finished size adult woman. I'm not sure what that means. You know, there are adult women who are five feet tall and teeny tiny. And there are adult women like me who are almost six feet tall, who are large and even taller. That's not clear, crochet. That's not clear. Anyway, uh, they're using Lion Brand Heartland Medium, the worsted weight yarn, and the Gopher Faux for the trim and stuff. Uh, they're using a six and a half millimeter hook. That's what they say, say on that. That gopher faux looks so cool on that. I love when I, when I see it in the store, I have to feel it. Yeah, I'm one of those. Angles and lines top. That to me, it's not for me. It looks cute on her. Size to 3X, that's not for everybody, okay? Because I bet that their 3X is not that 3X-ish. Uh, instructions given fit size small. Changes for medium, large, XL, 2XL, and 3XL. And on the 3XL, the bust is 57. So maybe, maybe not. They're using a uh, light, number three, Barocco Vintage DK acrylic wool nylon blend and they're four millimeter hook so if that's your thing hey go for it to me i don't know i don't know if it's the color i don't know if it's the style of it just not my cup of, oh like i said there'd be cards in there okay oh this looks so pretty it looks knitted what all right they're giving you instructions on how to do stuff there this is a number five, moderately challenging. So y'all, it's gonna be a lot harder than a normal thing. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the detail in that. Wow, okay. Learn to use slip stitches and half double crochets to make an eye-catching piece with flat repeating panels. Smaller at the top, bigger at the bottom, follow the shape of your neck, blah, 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 protection from the cold and wind. I want to move someplace cold so that I can wear something like this. They're using a number two fine weight skip it. Can we use a different yarn? I mean, I can't say it. Um, sheep, sheep G's, um, stonewashed fine sport weight acrylic yarn. And it is a, oh, they're cotton acrylic. Okay, it's a cotton acrylic and a four millimeter hook. They're using slip stitch, now I can't even say slip stitch. Yeah. Um, slip stitch variations to do that. That is so, I can't get over that. I swear to you that looks like a fancy knit, but it's crochet, it's crochet, crochet exclamation point. And they even give you pictures on how to do some of that stuff, which is pretty awesome. Pictures and instructions. Oh, wow. And look at that going together. What? I see what they mean by moderately challenging. Okay. All kinds of instructions on how to put it together and pictures for each one. Yeah, that's definitely tough. And they gave you the base chart on how to do rows 1 through 16. So it's apparently a 16 row repeat. Oh my god. That is it's so pretty though. And in that yarn it really is pretty. I'm, sh I'm sorry, skip, skip, yes, skip, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Your beautiful yarn, but oh man, it's so hard to say for my American mouth. Oh, here we go. Avery sleeved shawl. Ooh, look at that. It does have a sleeve on it and sized up to 5X. Okay, that's a lot more inclusive. And it says you can use sc scrappy yarns too. And they show you how to put it together. They're using a Barocco. No, I can't even say Barocco, okay. Um, number four, ultra wool worsted weight and a six millimeter hook. And this is... A number three easy so that's kind of cute though look at the back of that 
All right. Okay, I found one sort of inclusive pattern in there. Oh. Oh, that's adorkable. This is a pillow. It's a little squishy pillow, it looks like. <clears throat> and this is um, a number three easy, and they're using Bernat or Bernay blanket super bulky super chunky weight yarn it's a number six and six and a half millimeter hook i like that it looks like it would be nice and easy and really really cute and i bet it is soft and squishy so that's awesome oh look at this the fall textured cowl okay and this says it's an intermediate. It's using a number five bulky. I bet that works up super quick. And yeah, they're using an eight millimeter hook on that. Five and a half inches wide, 30 inches in circumference. One size fits most. I would go along with that. This is that sweater, that top that I really, really adored. They've only got this going up to a three X. It says pullover is meant to have nine to 10 inches of positive ease. So if you're a little bit chunkier than their three X, you could probably still get away with it. Look, this is what I was talking about earlier from the table of contents. I loved that textured look to that. I love it. Even if I think, even if you didn't do the V's in it, if you just use like whatever yarn that you like, man, yes. What are they using? Oh, they're using Premier Anti-Pilling. Yeah, acrylic. Easy enough to get a hold of. That's pretty awesome. Love it. Plus, they show you how they put it together. Oh, wow. That is a pretty straightforward design. They give you the measurements of it. It's like a rectangle, and like the sleeves are like, um, not a rhombus. Oh, for Pete's sake. It's just a four sided figure. But. The four sides aren't even. I want to show you too much. Voyager's cross body bag. I am all about a cross body bag. It's the only way I will carry a purse these days. This is an intermediate and they're using Lion Brand Kobu DK um, cotton and rayon from bamboo. Um, love that. It's worked in the round and yeah, now it says it's a four intermediate. That's probably because of the color changing work in there and stuff tip you can change the look of this bag by just changing the colors <gasps> who'd have thunk silver or tan will give this a beach feel when paired with shades of blue while pink purple and white will have you thinking of spring what about for those of us who really just love halloween orange black purple that's what i'm thinking fall leaves rug this is kind of cute look at that Although with it being like four designs in there, it's making me more think of playing cards, but that might just be me. Um, they're using skip, skip, yes. Yeah, they're using that. Uh, Smyrna string, super bulky is a six weight yarn and a 10 millimeter hook. Um, it's worked in back and forth rows using single crochet with the different colors. And it gives you kind of a close up here. And you can see where they carry that yarn. Now see, I guess it's okay because it's it's the single color getting carried across, but you can see where they've carried it behind there. And they're not hiding that fact, um, not even a little bit. So I guess they're being proud of that and making it a part of the design. And this says it's a number three easy. All right, how many rugs do I need? I keep finding more that I want. This is really pretty, I love a texture and design on that. Isn't that gorgeous? Autumn Bounty Throw. Features stalks of ripening wheat alternating with flowering chrysanthemums and standard post stitches. It says it's easier to make than it looks, although it's still an intermediate. Number four. Uh, Red Heart with Love. Uh, number four acrylic yarn is what they're using for this. And they are using a six millimeter hook on this one. Worked in five panels, which are then crocheted or sewn together. Well, that'd be kind of cool to do as well, because it's not a big project you're taking on at once. You might say, you know what? 
I'm going to take on this one panel this month. Yeah, that, that's so pretty. It's so pretty. And then they give you all the instructions. There's a lot of instructions for the different rows because there's different instructions for the wheat panel and for the chrysanthemum panel. Yeah, they all are kind of tough. Ooh, ooh. Butternut sweater. That's lovely. That really is. Uh, it goes up to a 3X, it says. And they're using a DK weight acrylic cotton blend on this and a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. And they give you kind of a close up here of what that open work looks like. It looks like shell stitches and stuff. So it says it's an easy. It looks harder than it says that it is. So yeah, it can look more complicated and just be like, huh, that's my little secret. It really wasn't that hard. Um, soon to be an autumn favorite, this lacy pullover is made of basic stitches with casual flair and timeless styling. And if you live in a cooler environment, I imagine that you could take this and make it with a different color and use it for spring on those cool evenings and stuff like that. So yeah, I love it. I love everything. Gosh, I'm so bad. Oh, here's an advert telling you to get a catalog and they show you this cute little basket and it's all about thread work. Yeah. Well, there's the back of that top. That is so pretty. So pretty. Now here in Georgia, we would wear that in the fall, but we wear it with just a little tank top underneath, not a big old long sleeve shirt because we still get kind of warm here in the fall. Here's that one from the cover. Look at this. This is the fall sampler sweater. That is so cute. I love all of the different yarns. I wonder if that's all different yarns or if it's a striping. Oh yeah. It's all different yarns. In other words, you have 800 million ends to weave in. But, and this is kind of a slimmer fitting because that previous one, it said that a 3X was like 57 inches uh, in the finished size. In this fall sampler sweater, it's 52 and a half inches for the 3X size. So it's much more of a slimmer fit. Um, they're using Premier Anti-Filling DK. Um, yeah, in all those different colors. But they tell you about all the stitches. Gosh. I love that though. I really, I love the colors. I love the texture. I could never wear it because I'd be too blasted hot but it's beautiful. It really is. And they tell you, you know, they give you a little graph on how it's put together and more of a close up on some of that texture. Yeah, that, that's really cool looking. I like that a lot. Uh, another advert charts on how to do that. The alder leaves shawl. And this is sort of a one size. They say it's a four intermediate. They're using Universal Yarn Deluxe in a DK weight. So it's a three weight yarn and a four and a half millimeter hook. That is really, really pretty. And I love how it kind of looks, you know, they have it sort of looking like leaves falling. Gracie's Slouchy Cardigan, and they only go up to 2X and I'm kind of disappointed in that. What, you mean big girls don't get big cardigans to wear too? What's wrong with you people? Crochet, exclamation point. I like the sweater though. I do like the top. It's really cute. I love that the chunky look of it. They're using um, an acrylic wool blend in a four weight. Uh, it's a number four intermediate, but they only go to two X. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like that part. Although the two X is like 57 inches in the bust. So it is bigger, and I imagine you could probably add some more rows and make it a little bit bigger. I have never understood a Ruana. You know, I never heard the word Ruana until I started paying attention to people's crochet videos, really. 
Anywho, that is the Wanderer Ruana. They're using a four-weight Universal Yarns Deluxe Worsted Medium Weight Wool. It is in wool, y'all. Um, designed to stay on your shoulders and keep you cozy during autumn walks. And that is a really pretty texture in that. That's, that's nice. And this is 33 inches wide, 63 inches long. Basically, it's a, a pretty much everybody can wear this. Oh, and here's something that is not need a size. It is an autumn acorn pillow. And I love this. <clears throat> if you have too many pillows, impossible, it says right there. You can easily use the band and acorns on a wreath as curtain ties or accents on your favorite handbag. So they show you how to make the pillow and the accents that are on it. Super cute. They're using a four weight yarn. Cotton merino wool Donegan tweed yarn blend. Y'all. You don't have to get all fancy and use an expensive yarn if you don't want to. Just saying. A lot of people think, oh gosh, I can't crochet that because the yarn is so expensive. Go get you some Red Heart. Or your uh, basics. Oh, oh gosh, what's it called? I'm just having a brain fart. The stuff that you can get at Joanne, which I love and I use on a lot of projects. Um, big twist. Big twist. And make it out of that. And if you really, really like it and you want it to be something a little fancier, then invest in the more expensive yarn and, and try it again with that. You don't have to jump in and pay $40 a skein for something. But you know what? I've been I go out and look at it yarn sometimes just because, you know, it's something nice to look at. I once saw a skein of yarn that was $250. I'm not talking like a humongo ball of yarn. I'm talking like a skein of yarn. And I went, are you kidding me? Somebody made a sweater out of that ish, okay? I'm just saying. Anyway, back to stuff that's a little more down to earth. This is really cool, and I think I would like this not in greens because that just, those colors don't tickle my fancy as much. But this is called Endless Mountains Throw, which you can see why they used, you know, those colors. That they're using um, Plymouth Yarn Gina Medium Worsted Weight Wool Yarn. And, oh, it's just a variegated. It's not like a bunch of different colors. So I guess if you got different colors that really suited you, you could totally do it. They're using a six millimeter hook, and this is uh, a number three easy. I'm kind of digging that texture though. It's it's a really pretty throw. And with a variegated yarn to do the color work for you, perfect, love it. I love everything. We got some charts and some continuations of some um, of the patterns from earlier. Big old chart for that rug. more charts and continuations y'all magazine makers okay put all of the patterns together you got a long pattern for a blanket put it all together make it pages you know 10 through 20 if you have to put an advert in the middle of it if you have to but put it all together don't make us go to the end of the book to look for it that's just annoying charts for that really pretty shawl continued oh it even has exclamation point continued on the corners of those mm -hmm. okay and then we get to the end of the book and it has the what do the hard things mean what do the easy things mean standard yarn weight system the buyer's guide just like crochet world um, telling you how to find all the yarns they have mentioned um, the stitch guide with the abbreviations and such, and a part that I love, I'll call, they call theirs, crochet, exclamation point, at a glance, where they give you all of the patterns that are in there, and, you know, let you go, okay, oh, this one, oh, it starts on page 24, you know, and find it that way, and then there's an advert for Christmas stuff already. It's a Stash Buster Christmas. That's cute. It's another pattern book. Because we all need another pattern book, right? Yeah. Just making sure. And an advert for Plymouth Yarn Design Studio. 
Anyhow, that is my first issue of Crochet, um, <clears throat> the magazine. I have subscribed to it. I think I have a two-year subscription to it. So I will be getting this when it comes in. I will share it with y'all. I will open it with you right here on camera because I'm kind of generous like that. And I'm a glutton for punishment, apparently. I hate letting things wait to open, but I waited to open this. So hope you enjoy. Uh, if you like the patterns in there, you can probably find it at like, you know, Walmart or Joann's or Michael's or wherever you find your crochet and or craft magazines. So do that. Tell me what you want to make out of there because I want most of the things. Yeah. I need more time. to. I need more hours in a day. More hours in a day. Anyway, thank you for coming by. It's been fun to do this flip through and I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye y'all.